From Du Bronx's stellar performance at UFC 289 to Dana being sold on the two going head to head once again, this is why Charles Oliveira is demanding a rematch with Islam Makachev. Du Bronx showed the world that he has still got it and managed to silence all his doubters on June 11, 2023. He was in the co main event against Benil Dariush, a guy who'd been on an eight fight winning streak, and a lot of the pros as well as the fans thought that Benny would get the job done to finally have a shot at the champ. That didn't happen though. Right off the bat, Oliveira started strong, opening with an attempted head kick and followed it up quickly with some quick combos. Most of the people thought that the fight will end up on the ground, and that's exactly what happened a couple of minutes in. Charles opted to pull guard so that he could threaten some submissions from his back, but Benny was on top trying to land bombs on the former champ. The problem was that the Brazilian actually wanted to be on his back and kept landing some nasty elbows from a seemingly bad position. He also threatened a heel hook on Darius, but Benny he had a good base and shook it off. In the dying moments of the first round, Oliveira connected with another devastating head kick, and this time, he was able to finish off Benny with punches for a TKO win. The Rogers Arena in Vancouver erupted as the refs stopped the fight. That was beautiful to watch, because it looked as if Du Bronx won in his own backyard. Oliveira is one of the most popular guys in the world, and he certainly has the crowd behind him whenever he steps into the octagon. So when he asked the audience who the champion was in the post-fight interview, the crowd started chanting his name. The Brazilian obviously wanted to win his title back. He may not have won it against Justin Gaethje, even though he won the match because of weight cutting issues, but the truth is that he was the de facto champion. Until Islam came along, that is. What's more, there's absolutely no one left at the top of the division that Oliveira hasn't already beaten. He had defeated the likes of Dustin Poirier, Gaethje, and now Benny. So you can understand why he thinks that he deserves the rematch for the lightweight crown. To be honest, that makes sense too. I mean, Darius is out of the picture for the title, at least for now. But you could argue that the winner of Gaethje vs. Poirier should be given the next shot, and you wouldn't be wrong. Both of those guys, along with Charles, are at the top of the table right now, and any one of them could be the champion. That's what makes the lightweight division so exciting, because all four of them, including Islam, are pretty close to each other in terms of ranking and skill, and the fans absolutely love all of them. The highlight will take on Dustin at the end of July 2023 in Salt Lake City, Utah, and the winner of that will have a very real chance at the title. Oliveira obviously would be leading the race, and he makes a pretty solid case for the title rerun, but right now it's all up in the air until the UFC announces something officially. Makachev is a wanted man at lightweight right now. Almost everyone wants his head, and a lot of the challengers will make a pretty convincing case for themselves. Oliveira's already made his. Whoever wins at UFC 291 is sure to join in the debate, and if Alexander Volkanovsky unifies the featherweight title, then he'll be in contention too. The great Aussie probably came the closest to beating the Dagestani ace when they fought at UFC 284, and ever since the controversial loss, Volk has eyes on the rematch too. As soon as the fight ended, Alex asked Islam for a rematch but this time in Abu Dhabi. And guess what? UFC 294 is set to take place in Abu Dhabi with Makachev headlining the card. Whoever is going to be his opponent has yet to be decided, but Oliveira has some serious competition for a shot against the reigning 155 champion. Now, with the number of potential challengers that Dana has on his hands, life isn't going to be easy for him, but whoever he decides to hand the fight to is surely going to deliver. All four of these guys in the race to take out Islam for good are exciting fighters, and the fans absolutely adore them. Islam has some say in the matter, but I doubt he's going to exercise his power here. The champ has always told Dana to send him a real contender, and he doesn't really care who. But the thing is that Makachev wanted to face someone new, someone he already hasn't faced before. So both Volk and Oliveira may just have to do a bit more to impress the champ. After Du Bronx won his match, the Dagestani machine tweeted out congratulating his rival, but he also reminded Charles that there are levels to this game. I can't help but feel that it was a warning to the Brazilian, because the last time these two met in October 2022, things didn't go too well for Oliveira. Islam was able to drop the former champ in the second round of the fight and went in to finish him off on the ground with an arm triangle. This was huge, because prior to this, no one wanted to follow Charles to the ground, but Makanchev didn't have any reservations. 
and he submitted the best finisher in the UFC. This was an upset for the Brazilian, and he admits that he wasn't himself that night. That's why he refuses to even rewatch that fight. Islam is the only man to have defeated Oliveira since December 2017, but Charles is adamant that his dropping the ball at UFC 280 was an anomaly. He said multiple times that he wasn't himself, but at the same time, he hasn't exactly said why that was the case. The thing to note here is that Oliveira thinks that there's nothing to take away from that fight for him. That's why he's never going to watch it again. It does look like a mistake, to be honest. I mean, Du Bronx can learn from the mistakes that he made during it, and he can even look at some of the striking abilities that Islam has. Makachev's kickboxing skills are seriously underrated by most fighters. Daniel Cormier has pointed it out. His coach Javier Mendez has mentioned it before, and even Volkanovski has admitted it. On the other hand, Oliveira is confident in his skill set. He said at the post-fight press conference at UFC 289 that he's just going to be himself in the rematch. If Dubronx manages to pull it off, then his stock is sure to rise a lot more. But if he fumbles, then he's going to face some public backlash as well. The good thing about Oliveira's last performance was that he impressed Islam's coach. Mendez admitted that he didn't believe that Dubronx would have been able to win so dominantly, and he had hoped that Benny would have won. But seeing how great Charles looked, there's no question that he should be next in line for the crown. Javier also revealed that Islam isn't likely going to refuse whoever Daniel will put in front of him and chances are that Oliveira will get his rematch. Mendez also discussed the possibility of Gaethje or Poirier getting the title shot, because he thinks that they're all right there at the very top. Out of these three, he thinks that Justin's probably going to be the easiest match for Makachev stylistically, because even though he's a great kicker, the highlight can succumb to the wrestling pressure from Islam. The diamond is tough, because he likes to hold out until the end, and you all know how dangerous the Bronx can be if given the chance. Don't get it wrong, guys, Javier still thinks that Gaethje is a phenomenal fighter. It's just that the level of competition is so high overall. For now, it looks like Oliveira is going to be facing Makachev in Abu Dhabi once again, because he's gotten the nod from the UFC boss. Dana admitted that he was excited to see the Brazilian fight Islam, and it made sense for it to happen as well. White also clarified that nothing is done as yet, and that things will be announced when they're made official. It's no secret that Du Bronx has impressed the UFC president with his consistent performances over the years. Dana said that Charles has turned his career around since 2016. He's one of the nicest guys ever, and he's fun to watch. Oliveira will stand and bang with his opponents, or he'll take them to the ground. Either way, he'll try to go for the finish, which makes him one of the most exciting fighters on the roster. Dana previously also promised the winner between Oliveira and Darius will get the next title shot, and it seems to be a very real possibility right now. So, from Dana White sold on the idea to a stellar performance at UFC 289, this was why Charles Oliveira is demanding a rematch with Islam Akachev.